be madness. There's a lot in this level. So we are going to want to keep the car and all of the gadgets that we have right now on the buttons that they're assigned to. Because we are going to be using the RC car very soon. Now, this level has a few areas. The first area we are going to be call going to is called the circus. Now there's a clown in this area that is the boss fight. He is very interesting to kill. So, a cutscene will play. Turn around and IJ up here. Now these balloons can hit you. There are balloons up there. And if they hit you, you fall just like that. That's bad. You can't really prevent it. It's just RNG. I don't know why I'm falling so much right now. No matter though, just jump up here, and now get out your explosive pellets, and wait for him to start moving. Once he starts moving, shoot him. And now, you have to wait a second after he starts moving for the second shot. Boost over here, shoot him again, then take out the RC car and put it right in front of him, and it'll explode on him. Now swing this to hit him, and super hoop over to a wall, and let him hit the wall. Hit him with the stun club. Now. There's a few things you can do here. You can use the RC car here and just put it right next to him and explode it on him. If you do that, it only takes two shots. If you don't want to do that, just do the same thing, have him hit a wall and hit him with the stun club three times. Not that complicated. So, you're going to want to change the camera while you're still in there towards this gate. Or not towards the gate, but towards this direction. Because the camera will be in the direction it was last in. So, once you're done with that fight, you can get cookies if you want. I'm going to just in case I fail stuff, but uh, there's a cookie jar right there. Then go into the coaster. Now this is an auto-scroller. Now you're going to want to boost jump to infinite jump over that. And then, before you land on the cart, you're going to want to put the, uh, equip both the net and the sky flyer. Because you are going to need both of them. Auto Nothing really bad can happen here unless you die. But, uh, just jump over the barriers here. Not really anything to talk about. But, uh, I'll talk about the next area while we're doing this. Uh, in the next area, there's going to be another infinite fall pit that can happen. But this infinite fall pit is horribly terrible if you fall in it. Because you lose three minutes because you have to redo this whole coaster section if you fall in it. So... In this next area, I hit a barrier there, but that's a fine. You can hit five barriers and not die. So in this next area, you're going to want to infinite jump over a wall, and then we're going to skyfly to get extra distance at the bottom of that infinite jump. It's pretty technical to not fall in that pit. And if you fall in the pit and die, you lose probably 20 or 30 seconds. But if you fall in the infinite fall pit and not die, you would have to reset the level, do the whole coaster again, and then do the jumps again. It wastes so much time. I've killed probably one or two runs with it, so it's not very common to happen. But as a beginner, it might happen a few times. You're just going to have to deal with it. Maybe go into the level and just do it without any monkeys or anything like that. So here's where it gets hard. So, you're going to want to immediately super hoop over here, BJ to IJ over here, and then this cutscene is going to play, you can just skip it. Now immediately turn to the left and switch to the uh, slingback shooter. Three, four, five, six, seven infinite jumps, and then double jump and sky fly down here. Now you're going to want to stay right along this tooth, then go to the right of the tooth to ledge grab here, or you can just land on it normally. Then, put the stun club where you had the sky flyer. Now that was a lot. You might have to pause the video, go back and watch that a few times. It's pretty difficult to do. Now switch to the super hoop and just go into this room. Now here, you're going to want to immediately super hoop in between these two monkeys, fall and catch them both. I only caught one of them, which is fine. Now... That monkey got away, it's fine though. Now the monkeys, if they get away, will always come out of this coffin. 
I'll show you which coffin this is. So just put your net down and just swing it, because he will come out of this coffin, but he'll jump in a random area out of the coffin. So there you go. So skip this cutscene and put the hoop on. Now the coffin that that monkey jumps out of, you would fall down from here because... So you would enter the room here, you would catch those monkeys. This is the coffin that they will always come out of, alright? So switch to the hoop after you've caught all those monkeys, then exit the level. Enter the level again. And then you're gonna just immediately start the super hoop before you touch the ground to skip a cutscene. Then cancel the super hoop to start this cutscene. Skip the cutscene, go into here. Now this is the Jake fight. This fight isn't too complicated once you get it, but for a beginner it might be a little bit daunting. So stand on this red area and go in between these tire stacks and crawl towards the wall. These cars will hit the wall and explode when you do this. Now usually only two of them will attack you. So once he starts charging, go off of the pad and double jump. Then you can just hit him in about this rhythm five times, and you have to hit him towards the wall there. If you don't hit him towards the wall, he will f he will go this way instead of going this way, and then you'll, you won't be able to hit him again. Now, if you're a beginner, I would practice this a lot. Get a save of this level and just practice this level over and over again. Practice this boss, getting the hits, doing all of that. I would practice that a lot, and I would watch a lot of runs. So once you do that, get out of here, turn to the right, jump up here, and then go into this area. Now you're gonna skip this cutscene, and now you're gonna wait a few seconds. It's just a long black screen. Don't think your game has crashed, it's just a black screen. Now once you gain control spike, super hoop directly forward and continue super hooping directly forward to fall onto here. Du double jump once you get out of there, and hit this button then jump into here. Now you're gonna wanna immediately BJ to IJ up here. Alright, or die. Two, three, four, okay. Whatever. Over to here, or you can just wait on that platform and ride it over there. Then you want to go into this room. Now this is a death abuse. This one is kind of precise, kind of not. If you don't want a death abuse, you can literally just like keep super hooping along this path in that direction. A cutscene will play, and then you will just turn around and go back out of the room. If you do want to do the death abuse though, there is it's not very precise. You can just go to the end of here and then fall off. That's it. That's the whole thing. And then this cutscene will play, and then you can just fall down and die. And then you can turn around immediately and jump there. So here, you're going to want to just go towards the middle here, take out your guided pellets. Now target both of these enemies and aim approximately towards here to have the highest chance of hitting both of them. Now you're going to want to shoot the first enemy three times with the guided pellets. Then catch him, go back towards here, and then shoot this guy. So I did not hit him with the guided pellet. These monkeys can be super annoying. Just do whatever it takes to catch them. There are a few glitches that can happen there, like uh, the UFOs can desync <coughs> de from their hitboxes which means they're not actually where they look like they are. That doesn't happen very often. It happened in my personal best run of this game. Now you're going to want to go over here and jump over there. Now go over here and go in this corner. You can be anywhere in this area, but I usually just go straight to this corner. Then you're going to IJ up. Four, five, six, seven. Seven IJs. Now switch to the hoop. BJ to IJ here. Four, five, six, seven. Single jump. Switch to explosive pellets. Now skip this cutscene. Then immediately shoot an explosive pellet at the boss. 
shoot another explosive pellet at the boss. I missed with the second one, but it doesn't really matter. And you're just gonna super hoop towards him. Alright, let me just re -quick, real quick do that again. So you're gonna super hoop towards the boss, and then swing the net at him. The stun club at him. I'm just gonna do this a few times until he's dead. Now, if you have more than two, two explosive pellets, don't shoot them at the start. You can only shoot a maximum of two explosive pellets at the start without him hitting you. So you're just going to do that, and that's the end of the first phase of the boss. Now, this is the second phase. This is 100% RNG now. There's a tiny bit of play, I guess. So you're just going to stand here. That's the attack you want him to do. You want him to shoot the purple lasers, because that's the only attack that you can attack him after. So, you're just going to want to stand here and go into first person mode using the, the sling back shooter to reduce lag. Now he's giving me really good RNG right now. That's another attack. None of his attacks will hit you except for one of them while you're, in the, while you're standing here. One of them, which is where he uh, pounds the ground, can hit you, and it will hit you if you're just standing there. So I just got the second best RNG you can get. I just got a six cycle. Best you can get is a five cycle. That doesn't happen very often though. And a five cycle means that he did... Alright, so hold up. Here you're just gonna wanna stand on one of these outside platforms, let him hit that or charge up his thing most of the way, and then you're gonna wanna move to this middle platform. And you're gonna double or single jump and hit the button. On the third hit though, you're going to want to start on one of the outside platforms, start the super hoop, go towards the other outside platform, then go towards the inside platform, and then hit it. And that's the end of Ape Escape, any percent. If you were playing any percent 2 or 100 percent, this would not be the end of the run, and you would have to go back and revisit every level and catch more monkeys, and if you're doing 100 percent, collect more coins probably, and do more time attacks. But for any percent, that's the end of the run. Now, you split for the end of the run on the hit, when you hit the final hit on Spectre. That's when you split for the end of the game. And for the beginning of the game, make sure to split when Spike hits the ground. Not when you press New Game, a lot of people probably would mess that up if they didn't know. You do not split on New Game.